All right, so uh, hello, hello. All right, so good night, everyone. You know, good to see you again. I only see one face in here, so Jose. All right. All right, so how are you, everyone? Good evening, teacher. Yeah, thanks. I'm good, thanks. Good evening, teacher. Yeah, good evening. It, it's a, it's a, a rainy night, right? It's a rainy evening, right? In some places. Like, yes, that's correct. Actually, Jose, thanks for bringing that up today since, you know, it's a tradition or, and it has to be a tradition for this class or a habit, una tradición o un hábito, okay, to start this class with a phrase, okay, or with an idiomatic expression. Like you said right now, okay, it's raining cats and dogs, okay. And that's the phrase I have for you. And I have a second phrase, you know, that I, I want to share with you. Okay. So if you're so sure. kind, you know, the rest of you, if you can, uh, you know, open the camera, if you want to, you know, the things that I need to see your faces, you know, to see who you are. <laughs> and just to make sure that I'm not speaking, you know, to robots. Okay. And, uh, but that is up to you. If you want to, you know, open the camera, so we can actually have a better interaction. It's up to you. Okay. So here we go. Um, let me just go here. Go previous. There we go. All right. All right, I'm going to call your names in here, and then if I said your name, um, so could you please just say, okay, here I am, teacher, you know, I'm alive or something just like that, please, okay? All right, so here we go. I know Jose is in here. I am here, I am here. Yeah, thank you, so present, right? So, Mr. Angel Martinez, sir? Yes, I hear. Right, thank you, sir. Uh, just one second. Let's see if this is recording. Yes, it's recording. Uh, Felipe, sir. Do you copy me, sir? Mr. Yes, teacher. Right, thank you, Miss Miss Palacios. <clears throat> Good evening. Good evening, uh, Yvette Silias, sir. Okay, uh, okay, ne next one, Mr. Magaña, David. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, uh, Yvette. I have a problem in my table. Oh, okay, sorry about that. Don't worry about it, okay? I know you're here. Uh, Mr. Uh, Magaña. Good evening. Good evening, Good evening sir. Good evening, teacher. Yeah, nice having Hi. you here, sir. Uh, Carla, it's just only Carla Good. over here. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, nice hearing you over here. Miss uh, Mirna. Miss. I hear teacher. All right. Uh, Raquel. Yeah. And then we have Janet Morales. I think I didn't mention Good a couple. Good evening. I, I didn't mention, I think, Angel and some of you. All right. And some people are, are joining this. So let me ask you, Mr. Magaña. <clears throat> Okay, so can you hear me, sir? Mr. Okay. David? Okay. Okay. Do you see the screen I'm sharing with you? Uh, Tuesday, October. That's correct. So today uh, we're Six. going to start. 
the, okay. the word the word of the day that's correct the word of of the day correct so every single class i have with you uh everyone we're going to start with a phrase you know with an idiomatic expression you know voy a compartir una frase actually two for today that first one all right it was a surprise but you know jose perez he actually you know knew what i was going to you know say in here so that's a good one sir the first one the first one is it's raining cats and dogs okay the second one is it's pen yourself in a hole okay so in your notebooks but in the computer i need you to write it's raining cats and dogs and the second one which is spin yourself in a hole okay it's raining cats and dogs means está cayendo un chaparrazo de agua and then the second one is spin yourself in a hole it's it raining. Means, it's... and you know two hours two hours ago it was raining cats and dogs over here you know in my house all right <laughs> and then you know to spend yourself in a hole it means que estás aquí de las deudas okay that's what it means all right teacher i heard i heard in the link that you it was yesterday that spend yourself in a hole is an idiom it's an idiomatic expression yes spend yourself in a hole and then it's raining cats and ducks those are idiomatic expressions you got it you got it and yes okay. thank you thank you jose okay i got this expression from the conversation material i shared with you okay and and today the first activity you guys are going to be working on is i'm going to uh send you lo voy a mandar en parejas por un grupo de tres a uh, cuartos separados you know break rooms and you're going to practice this phrase raining cats and dogs and spend yourself in a hole. ¿Qué van a hacer? Me van a dar dos ejemplos de cada expresión. It could be in present, it could be in past. You can say, hey David, hey Jose, hey Yvette. You know, two hours ago, it was raining cats and dogs. You know, it was raining too much. All right? But you can say, you know, I was driving or I was walking, estaba, okay. comprando, el, estaba comprando el pan, you may say, or something like that, and, and it was raining cats and dogs. And you well, say it's like, raining very hard. Yes, like you said in Spanish, the gran crescentada, verdad? You know that there was over there, and it was flooded. All right. And the second one, you may say, mm, I want to buy a new cell phone, but I don't have enough money because you know I spent myself in a big hole. You know, me metí en la tarjeta de crédito, and then right now I cannot pay this. So. Okay, so let me let me ask in here. Uh, let's see, Mr. Felipe Linares. Sir, do you copy me, sir? Uh, Mr. Felipe? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Uh, all right, so could you tell me, Felipe, what you need to do right now in purse? Or what are you going to do right now? It's something. Yes. All right. So <clears throat> you're going to speak with a partner. Okay. You're going to be working in pairs, in pareja, and then you're going to share examples of the phrase raining cats and dogs. La van a utilizar en una oración. Speaking, okay. you know. And the second one, spin yourself in a hole. Same thing. Es un poquito más complicada. But if I say this in Spanish, español salvadoreño, caliche, Y si ustedes me permiten, con todo su respeto, es estar en huevado. <laughs> ok. En <laughs> Estar en Dicom. Exactly. Yeah. You know, the story of my life, you know, that's why I'm working over here. <laughs> Mentira. La historia de mi vida, right? Ok, so let me send you to the break rooms. Ok. So you can practice. Okay. Remember, es una práctica verbal. Okay. Pueden escribirlas para que usted la lea, pero la idea es que usted comparta, you know, speaking activity. You know, this is a, a sharing activity, speaking. Understood, everyone? Yes, understood. Yes. 
All right, so clear. Thank you. Let me just one second in here. Um, all right, so break rooms. Hold on, let me just check the chat. You know, someone wrote in the chat in here. He says it's raining cats and dogs. All right. And uh, break rooms. So you are 12 participants, <clears throat> and then you're going to be in purse. That means that I'm going to make six rooms. All right. There we go. So just accept the invitation, please. Solo dele click y accept la invitación, por favor. Okay. <clears throat> so remember, practice with your classmates, please. All right, so go to the break rooms, please, everyone. <clears throat> Mr. David Magaña, go to a break room, sir. Dele aceptar ahí la invitación, por favor. There we go. All right. Uh... <clears throat> All right, so uh, rise. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hi, teacher. Okay, so today it is Tuesday 13th, you know, like Friday the 13th. No se casi desembarque, right? Don't get married, you know, don't get along. <laughs> okay. All right, so go ahead, please. I'm not here. Get to practice. Uh, do you have any questions for me, by the way? Anything I can help you with? Tengo mala conexión de, del internet y de repente como que se me va la señal. Pero ve. <ríe> eh, eh, I don't have a credit card um, eh, hoy, today, um, eh, Open the the uh, cuenta account in the bank for uh, save the money. <laughs> save, se dice save, ahorrar. Yes, Miss Gonzalez, si gusta le interrumpo un momento. Okay, okay. If you want, uh, write the example. Escríbalo mejor y luego, and then you just share it. I think it's better. Okay. Okay. Yes, remember you got to okay. practice the two phrases. Uh, it's raining cats and ducks. Está cayendo un chaparrazo de agua. And the second one, uh, you know, uh, that you have a lot of things to pay. O sea, que tiene muchas deudas. Está ahogada en deudas. Mm -hmm. All right. So, but first of all, I think it's better if you write the examples down. Si los escribe primero. Okay. okay. Thank you. So, just try to do that. So, Carla, are you ready? Um, yes, teacher, but uh, uh, my internet is very, very 
slow. Uh, yeah, it's muy but, lento. But I can hear you. I can hear you well. You know, it's slow. Slow means lento. Slow, como tortuga. Yes, yeah, yeah. mm -hmm. Escucho eh, cortado muchas veces. Ah, escucha retardado también la información. Okay. Uh, it, it, because it's raining cats and dogs <laughs> here yeah right now <laughs> so that's that's true right yes 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 yeah okay thank you thank you what about the second one carla the second example you know to be in a hole you know um i I uh, no sé este cómo cómo decirlo en inglés, pero quisiera comprar muchas cosas, pero es uh -huh. uh, spend myself <laughs> in a hole. <laughs> yeah, you, you can say you can say I wish, you know, or I you can say I wish I could buy, I wish I could buy. I wish me, I could buy. O, o, o puede decirla de otra forma. Puede decir, I would like to buy, I would like to buy many things. I, many oh. things. Okay. Mm -hmm. or, you can yes. say, I, or you can say, I want to buy many things. Or I want to buy a new cell phone. But I spent myself in a hole. O sea, me hago en deudas en a hole. Exacto. En a hole. Okay. Entonces puede decir, you, I, yes, you, 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 you can say, I want to. Quiero, you know, I want to buy, I want to, quiero ir a, a Acapulco, <laughs> all right? You know, I want to okay. go to, a, I want to go to Acapulco, but I spend myself, you know, in debt, you know, in a hole, so I cannot yeah. buy, I cannot go there, yeah. all right? Nice. Thank so, you, uh, you're welcome. So, Carla, try to help uh, Maria, please. Um, I want to reduce my expenses and save money. More money. Yeah, that's okay. And pero la frase, uh, but I spent. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Okay, um, spent yourself in a hole. All right. So, Angel, uh, Miss Mart. Okay, there you go. You were assigning there. Um, let's see. Uh, who's that? All right. Um, Price. When you <laughs> welcome, teacher. What the meeting? <laughs> spend Surprise. yourself in a hall. What the meeting? All right. So it means that you have a lot of debts, a lot of things to pay. And your salary, imagine this, imagine that you earn $1,000, okay? So that's your salary. So salario is $1,000, okay? But you want to buy, let's say, a new computer. But since you have a lot of debts, a lot of bills to pay, a lot of bills to pay, muchas deudas, you cannot buy anything because you, are, you spend yourself in a hole. Significa tener, estar ahogado de las deudas. That's the meaning in there. But I don't, I don't know how, how, how to use it. Yeah, in, in a sense, I, okay, in a sense. moment, no, <laughs> I want example, example. For example, and you can. Is, is limit my salary. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, it means that uh, you, since you almost uh, used all your budget, you cannot buy more the stuff. No, se, se va a salir del presupuesto, pues. So you cannot buy the stuff. I, I have a one example. A one example. Okay. For example, uh, in this moment for the coronavirus pandemic, um, I spend uh, yourself in a hole. Yeah. Si, si lo, if you use it, let me say this in Spanish. Si, util, si lo utiliza con I, va a decir myself. Si lo dice con you, va a decir yourself. Si dice he, va a decir himself. Si dice ellos, va a decir themselves. Themselves. 
ellos mismos se metieron en ese rollo, ¿verdad? O sea, ellos mismos se metieron en ese rollo. Mm -hmm. All right? So, you can say, the same example. Due to the coronavirus pandemic, you know, I spent myself in a hole. Or, or my husband, you know, spent himself in a hole. Or my family spent, you know, themselves in a hole. So the other example, uh, for buy my new cars, mm -hmm. uh, spend yourself in a hole. Exactly, yeah, no. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. You got it. For buying a new car, you know, uh, 2020, brand new, I spent myself in a car. Tope la que tarjeta de crédito. Yeah, that's what my it means. Credit card limits. Credit card, right? You you must max out. You know, max out your credit card. You know, max it, max out your credit card. All right. Okay. So, Yvette, do you have an example you would like to share with us? Mm. Or you're still thinking? I don't understand it. <laughs> All right. For example, let me ask you. Uh, un lugar así para que usted quisiera visitar, así de ensueño, mm -hmm. o un lugar. Uh, Hawaii. All right, you would, you would like to go to Hawaii. Okay, you can say, I want to go to Hawaii, but since I spent myself in a hole, I cannot go to Hawaii because I don't have money. You know, estoy endeudado. You know, I spent myself in a hole. Hole, in este contexto, hole significa deuda. Okay, hole. It's not, it's not, it doesn't mean agujero. Porque este es caliche. You know, this is an idiom. All right? So that's the theme over there. At least Yvette and Janet, if you're, if you're not able, you know, to use this in a sentence, at least you're going to be able to understand when someone else, you know, says that phrase. All right? If you listen to that phrase again, okay, you're going to understand the context. So this is the point over here. Okay? Okay. All right, so I got to go to a, another break room, all right? Tiene apagado el micrófono. Perdón, perdón, perdón. Sorry about that. Now, can you tell me, Iris, if uh, you see a presentation uh, on your screen? In PowerPoint. Yes, I can see. Yeah, you can see the presentation. You're right. So I'm sharing the screen correctly in here. So I have here the, uh, you know, the, the explanation on this one. And uh, for this one, let me ask uh, two persons in here, uh, two students. So let's see, Yvette, help us, and then Mr. Magaña, David. So Yvette, help us with this explanation. It says, it means that you spent and then, Mr. Magaña, you're going to help us with the second paragraph. So, Yvette, could you read, you know, this uh, paragraph, please? Okay. It means that you spent so much that you now in bad situation. Okay. When talking about money, uh -huh, continue. Okay. When talking about money, to be in the a uh, hole means to all more that you have to have a thing more that you have available, etc. Available, right? So, ha gastado más de lo que tiene. All right? So, that's the meaning of spend yourself I, in a hole. 
Okay. Available. Available, yes. Disponible. Available. All right. All right. Thank you. The next example would be Mr. David Magaña. Help us, sir. Some people. Uh, David, could you please read? Okay, I open microphone. Right. Oh. I, I I read I read the the next paragraph. Yes, some people. Some people spend themselves in a hole because they can't control their shopping habit. That's correct. You know, these people most of the time they are shopaholic. All right, and they, you know, spend and spend money over there, okay? And that's the meaning of that one. And just to finish, listen to this. And that applies to Thanks. any, okay, that applies to any financial situation. It could be personal or a business in the whole. In the whole, in this slam term for being in debt, significa que hold in este contexto significa deuda, okay? Estar endeudado. That's the meaning of this. If you say, I, 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 si usted tiene la deuda, va a, decir in, va, va a decir, I spend myself in a hole. All right? Or if you say, you, you spend yourself yes. in, in a hole. If you say, he, he spent himself, right? And so on. Okay? That's the idea in here. Okay. But let's stop with this. Let's complete this, the next activity. I'm going to share with you, everyone, a link. Let me stop sharing this, okay? I'm gonna share with you a material, you know? I'm gonna share with you a material, you know, for a practice, a, a grammar practice right now. Vamos a ver el, you know, las manos o los dedos más rápido del oeste, okay? You know, the fastest fingers in the, in the old, you know, wild west, all right? So uh, check right now, check your WhatsApp, all right? So I'm gonna share with you this material right now. And then let's see, I'm gonna choose uh, one of you. Let's see a volunteer, uh, Raquel. Raquel, uh, Miss Campos, help us here. Could you please unmute your microphone? Uh, Raquel. So everyone check the chat, please. I just sent to you okay, a material. Uh, uh Yes. I have I ha I have the the, the, the material. material okay. The you have the material. Open it up please. Okay. So and also are Raquel. You open, it? Mm -hmm. open it please. And then everyone please do the same please. Abramos abramos el documento please. You know let's open you know the material, you know the material, all right? And then tell me, tell me please. Nice, thank you. So I can see that Jose Perez already has it in there. Uh, you, you can start practicing with this, but this is gonna be a competition. Why? Usted me va a mandar una captura de pantalla, so you're gonna send a screenshot to me of the points. Algunos van a tener 700 puntos, some others are gonna have 800 points, etc. Hace el ejercicio, you do the exercise, and then you send it, you send the screenshot to the chat. Okay? Okay. Okay. Remember, this activity has to be completed before the bar, antes de que esta barrita se acabe, before this bar, you know, runs out of time. Okay? So, you have verse, verse, verse in present, you, you have it in past. For example, do, did, you click in there, you gotta find it, you know, very quickly. Y me mandan la captura de pantalla, por favor, to the chat. You gotta do it quickly. So, on the count of three. Are you ready? Okay. Ready, everyone? Yes? Okay. Yes. All right. So, on the count of three. Three, two, one. Let's go, please. Okay. <laughs> oh. 
All right, so I got the first one in here. I got the very first one in here. And uh, nice, 800 points. And that's the first one is Mirna. Good job, good job. So 800 points in there. This morning, the sun... All right, next one, Janet Morales, 600 points. You know, Mirna is still, you know, the leader right now Whoa. with 800 points. Okay, next one. And I have Carla, 700 points, almost, almost, almost there, right? Okay. All right, what about you, Yvette? Did you, did you do that already? Okay, so let's try to do it. You can do it one, two, three times, many times, okay? Aquí no hay limite. All right, and then, so let's try to do 800 points. Who's this one? Let's see. And Last one, the sign. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, good job. Good job, Vivet. Nice, 800 points in there. Si no saben algún verbo, you know, if you don't know a verb, write it down. Tengan ahí una libretita, you know, a notepad or something like that. Next one, I have Palacios in here. All right. So who's this one? Palacios is Iris, you know, Iris, all right? Next one, Katy, Katia. How many did you get in there? And it's, uh, oh my God, 4,650 points. Yeah, you're completed everything in there, right? Okay, that's nice. Let me, uh, you know, stop sharing this. Let me share the screen again. Did you finish everyone? Yes. All right, so let's go back to the user screen. I'm going to choose, a, let's say, Janet <laughs> Morales. Janet Morales, help us on this one. Janet, are, are you here? Janet, uh, would you please unmute your microphone? Okay. Hello. Yeah, could you, uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah. Now, now I won't forget, you know, your face in there, you know. Because I, I called your name like two or three times. Okay, so Yannette, help us with the first five phrases. You tell us the present tense and then you also choose the past tense. But try to do it very quickly. So you go do, did, hit, etc. All right? Mm, I understand, teacher. Me dice el presente y me dice el pasado. All okay. Right? Yes. The present do, uh, the past did. Uh, the present is hit and the past is hit. <laughs> All right, uh, and let me stop you, brother. Para hacer lo que es un poquito más natural, y perdón que le interrumpa, eh, digamos solamente, do, did, hit, hit, uh, spill. Okay. All right, please. Okay. <laughs> do and did, hit or is hit, is spill, is a... Uh, I don't look. Uh -huh. I don't look. Um, spirit and uh, rice is a rose try is a trade listen is a listener adverts is a adverses advertises he mm -hmm. argued is uh, argued thank you so much so uh janet choose one of your classmates elijame a alguien de sus compañeros uh, Ahí aprovechemos a poner dedo, ¿verdad? Ay, es que yeah. no, no los veo, no los veo. Deme un segundo. No los veo. ¿Dónde dice participantes? Ah, David, tal vez. David, David, okay. tal vez es el único que me acuerda el nombre. Es por todo. So, Sorry, Mr. David. That's okay. A victim, you know, David is your victim. David Magaña. Nice. Thank you, sir. Uh, so, I'm going to mute your microphone, Janet. So, David, could you okay. please... Okay, do the same, David, but se va así al azar, you know, randomly. Comienza con do, and then you go with rise, and then you, you change over there, okay? Digámoslo así desordenado. Okay, do deal. All right, elija otro al azar, salte ese hit y elija, diga otro más. Ah, uh, este, listen, listen. Okay. Uh-huh. Another one. Um rice, rose, rose. All right, so I'm gonna stop you there. Thank you, David. 
And now I'm going to mute your microphone. Vamos a ponerlos en silencio a todos. Okay, so, and just one second me here. All right. Mientras explico. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? You know, what are we going to do? Voy a decir el verbo en presente. So I'm going to tell, I'm going to tell the verb in, in present. I'm going to say that the verb in present. And then you, you tell me the past tense. Y vamos a ir en orden. La primera vez voy a decir do. Y usted rápidamente de memoria o viendo la pantalla va a decir did. Seguimos con hit y me lo dice de memoria o viendo la pantalla. Ok. But we gotta do it quickly. All right. La primera práctica vamos a hacerlo con sus micrófonos apagados. Ok. Para darles chance de que practiquen. First practice with your microphones muted. Ok. But the second time I'm going to ask you, you know, to unmute your microphone. La segunda vez me quitan el silencio del micrófono. Y están listos para repetir. I'm going to tell you the present and then you tell me the past tense. Understood? Yes? Okay. So, here we go. So, but I'm going to choose, solo voy a elegir a un voluntario. Yes. I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose just volunteer para que me dé el feedback, ¿verdad? La retroalimentación. Raquel, help us, Raquel. Usted es la única que va a estar sin silencio, ¿ok? Ok. Usted va a ser, ¿verdad? Mi conejillo de India. <laughs> All right, nice. All right, so voy a ir en desorden. You try to do it quickly, you know, I'll go randomly, you know, up and down, you know. First one, argue. Ajá, eh, Raquel está en, en mudo. Eh, argued. Argued, okay, listen. Uh, listener. Okay, uh, spill. Uh, spill. Split. All right, try. Try it. All right, do. Did. Advertise. Uh, advertise. Rice. Rose. Hit. Hit. Spill. Oops, sorry about that. <laughs> spill. All right. <laughs> Fue sin intención, se me fue. Ok. Ok, ok. Yeah, I'm not a bad person, you know. You know no, no fue con intención. Ok, thank you. Now, okay. everybody, please unmute your microphones. Pongamos los micrófonos abiertos, por favor. All right. Creo que ya los, ya los puse a todos en micrófono abierto. All right. Nice. Vamos a hacer lo mismo. You know, we're going to do the same, but as a class. Ok, no importa si se escucha el background, en, en, eh, se escucha el, el, como que estamos en el mercado, pero, you know, that's, that's ok. You know, that's ok. All right, so, but you gotta do it quickly. Ok, no importa si, si algunos se quedan, ¿verdad? Pero that's the thing, all right. Okay. So, on the count of three, one, two, three, try. 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 Advertise. Do, do, spill, spill, listen, listen, argue, argue, all right, hit, hit, did, uh huh, ah, okay, okay. Los quería agarrar en curva, los quería agarrar en curva, ajá. All right, vamos a ver así como bailan cantan, ¿verdad? O como cantan baila. Vamos a ver. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you the verb in present y voy a desaparecer por arte de magia la pantalla. ¿Ok? <laughs> There we go. We're gonna test your memory over here. So on the count of three. One, two, three. Do. Hold on. Do. Yes. Yes. Right. It's peel. Right. So listen. Listen. Advertise. Advertise. All right. Rice. Roll. All right. Argue. Argue. That's okay. So salvaron. Okay. Now, eh. Now listen to this pronunciation, please. You gotta be careful. Just listen to me. 
let me just uh, mute your microphones very quickly in here. And so you just listen to me. Listen is, is in present. Y no, nunca digan, por favor, listen it. El pasado no es listen it. Mejor digan el verbo en presente, pero nunca digan listen it. Ok? Nunca digan así. Ok? Just go listen and listen. It's like the same thing. You can say, uh, uh, you know, I listen to music every day and I listen to music last night. Si, si se fijan, no hay ninguna diferencia. En contexto, los sonidos se pueden ahí, ¿verdad? Camuflajear. Pero así, solitos, sí le vamos a poner como la pronunciación correcta, ¿ok? So, for example, we have listen, listened, con una D, imaginaria, al final. ¿Vea? O si no lo dice, listen, listen, no se complique la existencia. All right? O sea, usted no me va a decir, I listen to music every day, ese es el presente. Pero me va a decir en presente, I listened, y le va a dar ataque, ¿verdad? Así para hacer el no. I listen to music yesterday. Es lo mismo, ¿verdad? Porque los sonidos de las otras palabras nos ayudan a complementar. A complementar. So this is the point over here. ¿Ok? Entonces hay que aprender a disimular la pronunciación. Obviamente, si yo le digo, I do the homework every day, y se me dice, I do the homework yesterday, Algo anda mal ahí, ¿verdad? So, it's the verb. The verb is in past. Yeah. So, in other words, ladies and gentlemen, you have regular verbs that are just pronounced almost the same in the past. Un verbo regular solo le agregamos ed en su escritura. But in the pronunciation, we say listened con una d, or we say uh, worked con una t. All right? And we all decimos... ED, como visited. All right? I visited my family yesterday in San Miguel. Si usted dice, I visited my family yesterday in San Miguel, se le quedó ahí la ED. Si usted dice, I worked three hours yesterday, está bien. Si usted dice, I worked eight hours uh, in, in, in my job or at work, mm, se le quedó algo por ahí. ¿Verdad? Pero nunca me vaya a decir, I uh, listened to music yesterday. No, please. But tomorrow we're going to see this in details. All right? Right now, ya les dejé el material. Ahí, uh, excuse me? Yeah, did somebody say something in here? All right, so we're good here. So let's continue with, with the... Uh, Let's continue with the uh, with the activity over here. All right. So let's continue with this thing. So right now, what you have, ladies and gentlemen, it's this. Let's see, Felipe, can you see this? A tongue twister. Do you know what that is, sir? Yes. All right. So a tongue twister, you know, is like in Spanish, you know, Pablito clavón clavito, cual clavito clavo Pablito. All right. That mm -hmm. one, right? Or the very famous tres sisters triggers, right? That one I cannot say it. All right. <laughs> All right. So yeah. in English, so everyone, this is what you're going to do right now. Yeah. You're going, okay. So what you're going to do, everyone, vamos a practicar tres trabalenguas. The first one, y lo vamos a hacer para practicar el inglés en el en pasado. Okay. For example, you had picked. No me diga picket. Va a decir picked. Imagínense que esta ED es una T, como tomate. Picked. Es mejor que lo diga Peter Piper picked, así, y que no me diga picket, nunca. Ok, mejor dígalo en presente, pero no diga picket. All right. The second one, y le voy a poner la explicación. You see the explanation in there, del vocabulario. Y no, y, y no se preocupe si no entiende. Lo importante es que destrabemos, soltemos nuestra lengua. Ok, we have to, you know, untie, you know, or loose, you gotta loose, you know our tongue, all right? And then we have another one, okay? And then I have the images over there. And then I have another one, which is Betty Butter. Entonces, ¿qué les parece? Should we start right now? Should we go? Should we start right now with this? ¿Le damos con todo? Yeah. Should we start? All right, so here we go. Yo voy a hacer el modelo, ¿verdad? Calvin Klein, okay? <laughs> all right? And... Uh, you're going to listen to me over here. All right? So here we go. Peter Piper picked a pickle pickle peppers. 
did Peter Piper pick a peck of pickle peppers? If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle peppers, where's the peck of pickle peppers Peter Piper picked? All right. Recuérdese que un trabalengua se tiene que decir rápido. Si no, qué chiste. You know, it has to be said fast. Y ahí lo dije más o menos lento. Aunque debo confesarles que ya llevo 10 años, you know, dando estos trabalenguas, así que prácticamente ya me lo sé de memoria. Así que ese es mi secreto. You know, soy un mago. You know, I actually gave away my secret. Ok. Les revelé mi secreto. But the point is for you to practice. So, second trial. Segunda vez. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Did Peter Piper pick a peck of pickled peppers? If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the pickled pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? All right? Explicación del vocabulario. What is a peck? A peck es una unidad de medida. All right? You know, como un frasco, you know. Un bote. Like we said in Spanish, you know, un bote. <laughs> All right? And then peppers, you know what that is, right? You know, Mexican people, they like to eat a lot of peppers in there. And me too. Pickle, this is what you have. Some people eat pickles with hamburgers, all right? With hamburgers, you know, pepinillos. And they put it in vinegars, all right? <coughs> and what's the second tongue twister? Who's this guy, by the way? Who's this, this celebrity? Do you know who he is? The rock. The Rock, you know, The Rock, no. Dwayne Johnson, right? Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Obviamente, si le iba a poner a alguien pelón, <laughs> iba a poner a la roca, ¿verdad? All right, let me just look at the screen in here because I, I lost the screen. Uh, and hold on, please. And share. All right. Let me just one second. Eh, si estoy compartiendo la pantalla bien. So let me know, please, if I'm sharing the screen correctly. Yes. All right. Yes. So, and the second tongue twister. Si ya se fijaron, los tongue twisters aparecen en rojito. Ok. Ahí están en rojo. El segundo se los puse fácil. Because it's short. But, las palabras un poco complicadas. So, uh, all right. So, here we go. A big bug beat a ball ball bear. And the ball ball bear bled blood but badly. One more time. A big ball bet, a ball ball bear, and the ball ball bear bled blood badly. All right? A bug, this is a bug, okay? And it's an insect, okay? Un bicho, like we said in Spanish, right? Ball, his ball, está pelón, and then the blood. You know, when people cut, you know, just like this. So don't do it, please. Don't do this, please. But when people cut their fingers, you know, there's blood, sangre. And then they bleed, sangra, you know. And then bled is the past tense, you know, sangro. All right? And this is a bird, right? <laughs> you know what that is, right? Okay. Next one. Uh, tone twister number five, Betty Butter. Okay. And here we go. This is... The pronunciation. <coughs> All right, let's see what time is it. 9.50, we still have nine minutes. Are you ready? Are you ready for the pronunciation? Están listos para escuchar? Yes. All right, so you're ready. So, Betty Butter bought a bit of butter. The butter Betty Butter bought was a bit bitter. It made her butter bitter. But a bit of better butter makes better butter. So, better butter, but a bit of better butter. Making better butters, bitter, butter better. All right? So, one more time. Betty butter, but a bit of butter. The butter, Betty butter, but was a bit bitter and made her butter bitter. But a bit of better butter makes better butter. So, Betty butter, but a bit of better butter. Making Betty Butters bitter, butter better. Los estadounidenses hacen la T como una R. Si usted va al Dollar City, no va a decir Dollar City en, en inglés, va a decir dollar, you know, dollar City. All right? Like right. visited. So, what's a bit? Bit es un pedacito, you know. Bitter es agrio, you know, 
opposite of sweet, como limón, like lemon. And butter is la mezcla de, that, that you put in the blender. Que ponen en la licuadora and then you put it over. ¿Ok? Entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Los voy a mandar en grupos separados. ¿Ok? Y vamos a practicar. But, les voy a dar la ayuda. Les voy a mandar un material. So, I'm going to send to you a material. All right? Right. Y ahí van a tener, you're going to see there the pronunciation in slow motion and fast. ¿Ok? So, I'm going to paste this in the chat. There we go. And le let me ask uh, one volunteer me here. Uh, let's see, Miss, right, no, this is Noria. Would you like to help us? Okay. Yes, Noria. Uh, yeah. Check your chat, please. Check the chat. Can you tell me, Noria, if you're able to open the material? El material que le mandé. Dígame si lo puede abrir y si tiene acceso, por favor. Okay. So let me know, please, if you're able to access it, please. Okay. All right. So in there you have the pronunciation of the tongue twisters, but remember, so remember this. All right. Um, the one, okay, so the one, everyone, the one that you're supposed to, to practice, all right, let me just uh, go back in here. All right, so the one you're supposed to practice is, and write this down, el numero uno, you know, the first one, el primero, el segundo, all right, first one, second one, y el quinto, all right, first, second, and the fifth one, okay? Okay. So, all right, so lo voy a mandar en, en grupos, okay, en pareja, all right, and then uh, you're supposed to practice in here. So, just one sec, come in here. Uh, any questions, everyone? Do you have any questions for me? No questions? Is everything clear? Yes. Yes, teacher, yes, teacher. So we're good? Uh, how many? Not teacher. I want okay. to know I want to know how many times we need to practice this because in my kitchen the first time then I hear about this. I must hear a little bit. All right. The things I am not able to uh, you know to hear you like well right now. And uh let's see. Uh hold on. Lo voy a poner en parejas, you know, I'm going to put you in purse, and you're supposed to practice. Ocupen el material, ahí está la pronunciación, y ayúdense mutuamente, por favor, you know, help yourself, you know, mutually, you know, help each other, all right? Right. So that's what you're supposed to do. All right, so go there. We only have two or three minutes to practice this, okay? So go ahead, please. Accept the invitation, please. All right. And no idea. No idea. So let's join. So let's. All right. So. Uh, join. Yes. Hello. All right, so hello, hello. Hello, hello. hello teacher. All right, sur surprise, surprise. Ah. Uh, All right, so do you have paper, Peter paper, picker, a pick off, picker paper, did you pick, pick a pick? Okay. 
creando. All right. If, if Peter Piper pick, pick a peck of shell. <laughs> All right, so but, uh, Mirna, let's just practice, uh, yeah, that one, Peter Piper, and then let's practice this one, a big bug beat, this one, number two, and then practice number five, which is Betty Butter. Lo estamos haciendo porque, because over here we have simple past. Esto tienen verbos en pasado, but, all right? Yes. And, and the first one, este primerito tenía picked, you know, here. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that's where we are starting right now. Okay. Yes. So uh, let's see, uh, Noria. Noria, would you like to practice this one, uh, Betty Butter? Dígalo, por favor. Betty Butter. Okay. Betty Butter both a big Betty Butter both a big The Betty Butter was a big computer. And main her butter chicken, but a bitter butter butter makes better butter. So very butter, both a bit of butter butter, making very butter, bitter butter chicken. Better, right? Yeah, that's good. That's good. All right. Butter bitter? Butter yeah, bitter. That's good. <laughs> uh, now, let me ask you, uh, Mirna, could you say that this one, Peter Piper picked a pickle pickle peppers? And then you go. All right. Yes, teacher. Uh, Peter Piper pick a uh, pick a uh, pick paper. The Peter Peter Piper pick a pick of pick papers. Is Peter Piper pick a uh, pick of picket papers. Where's the pick of pick papers? Peter Piper pick. That's correct, yes. So, peppers, and then we have picked, right? Picked is the past tense order, all right? Okay. Nice. All right, so it's almost time for the class to finish. We're going to come back to the main session. Vamos a regresar a la sala principal, okay? Yes, teacher. All right. Thank you. So, you're welcome. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you, teacher. Hold on. Uh, okay. All right, so welcome everyone. Uh, so it's almost time for this class to finish. You know, two more minutes and then this class is over. But I need to assign homework to you. Vamos a dejar una tarea y una tarea quizás un poquito corta. All right? ¿Se acuerdan que ayer les compartí una conversación? Do you remember that? That I shared with you a conversation. Okay. Entonces, de esa conversación, quiero que me seleccionen los verbos que están en pasado y que por lo menos seleccionen tres preguntas que se hacen ahí. All right? So, yo le voy a escribir todo esto en el chat. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write instructions in the chat. But everyone, what I'm telling you is that the class is almost over and then you're going to have homework. ¿Se recuerdan de el material que les compartí ayer que era una conversación? Entonces, de esa conversación quiero que ustedes escriban todos los verbos en pasado que encuentren y que escriban tres preguntas que se hacen ahí. So, three questions in past tense. And, and, and write all the verse in past tense. Okay? Yeah. So that, that's going to be your homework. Understood? Ya les mandé de regreso el material de la conversación. All right? So okay. I shared with you already, you know, the, the material for the conversation. De esa conversación, me sacan tres preguntas. Ahí están escritas, solo las transcriben. Y todos los verbos en pasado los escriben también. Si no saben el significado, you write it down. If you don't know the pronunciation, you try to practice. Okay? Y one more thing I need to ask you, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is to always complete the uh, platform. Y solo quizás un minuto de su tiempo, porque ya me pasé un minuto de esta clase. <laughs> All right? Y no es que me quiera ir, ¿verdad? Pero necesito subir esto a la plataforma. 
Eh, let me just one second here. Déjeme encontrar la, la pantalla correcta. And here we go. El día de mañana, la primera cosa que vamos a hacer es revisar esta plataforma. All right, vamos a comenzar. Después de darles la, el vocabulario del día, we're going to start with a time to remember, we're going to explain the grammar, the some objective, etc. Pero sería bueno, sería genial que ustedes completaran algunos ejercicios. Recordémonos que tenemos dos semanas para completar lo mínimo, uh, section one, two, and three, at least. Ok. But the homework for tomorrow is, en el material de la conversación que les mandé, me escriben tres preguntas textualmente, como aparece en la conversación, y me escriben todos los verbos que aparecen en pasado. So that's going to be your homework. All right? Three all questions, right. and then all the verbs in past tense. With that in mind, I let you go, and then uh, I wish you have a good night. All right? Thank you. Thank yeah, you. nice okay. to see you. Thank you. Know? you. Nice to, nice to see you. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah, it's a fire.